All right, this is my uh, power subwoofer review on the 18 inch from Gemini. It's the GVX series, very good line. Um, in the past, a lot of people said that Gemini is uh, no good, and I agree, totally agree with some of the stuff they had out before. Um, I don't know where their heads were at, but I don't know what collaboration led to this. Um, this model came out very, very good, and I say very good. But I say because of the price. Um, here you have an on-off switch. Your uh, voltage tells you 115. Don't mess with that unless you leave the country. Um, you have an internal fuse in case something busts. Uh, you can use a cable off your computer, but you have to follow this reading here. If your cable isn't that same reading, then don't use it. Um, no good. Uh, very big heat sink here. Very big heat sink. Very good for the cooling. But I still recommend having two little mini fans behind there. They work a hell of a lot more efficiently. You have two inputs. You have your left, your right. Um, left, right output. Pretty much what signal you send here comes out of here the same. And this uh, is your left and right output, and what that is for is tops, power tops mainly. Um, that you don't want a lot of bass and boominess going through them. You want to protect your drivers, your compression drivers, a little bit better. You have your uh, clip light here indicator. Um, a lot of people say that clipping is okay if it flashes a little bit. I don't like that at all. I, 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 if I even have to back off. One click so that light doesn't come on, it's it's better for you, better for your product, and it works a lot better. Um, it says it's 500 watts RMS and 2,000 peak. 2,000 peak? No. Um, maybe at 12 to 1,400 peak? Yes. Um, very believable. This here controls the frequency. If you have your sub drivers by themselves, you get a hell of a lot of bass. So this way you get a little more mid out of it, not too much though. Um, but I leave it at the middle, works real good, especially when I use it for bands instead of DJ. Phase button, that's when your uh, subwoofers are working against each other. You notice one gig, you say, hey, um, I get a hell of a lot of bass here. And then you go to another uh, hall room and then you say, man, I was just over there, nothing, what happened? Well, if that happens, it sounds weird. You hit that little button and uh, watch what happens. You don't have to do it on both of them, just one. Uh, the rest is you have a real nice sprayed finish, real nice, nice and durable. All the corners are machined. Uh, the wood is pretty thick. I pulled out my amp. Don't do that because your guys' uh, amps, your warranty might be void if you do that. But I did it to mine. Believe me, the wood in here and the construction is really, really good. It's really thick, about three-quarter inch in some spots. Um, here's the front side, the look of it, really nice, 18, you have a base port here, but a divider also is for the strength of the build, um, top pole mount, 35 millimeter, goes down deep enough, you know, and these are uh, the side handles, you get one here, one towards the back, it's a machine really really nice idea to do it like this because they don't have those to break and to replace and hardware and you know overall pretty good they worked out really really well for me uh, I paid here's the big thing I paid 800 for the pair but I really had to haggle these guys to do it but um, I don't think that for that money there's a sub out there I don't care what brand it is for 800 bucks that one sub being named brand or not that's going to do the work of both of these subwoofers at half the volume. So you can put one on the left, one on the right. They're going to do great. Um, hit me back with some comments. If there's anything else I left out, because this is a quick review, um, yeah, leave me some comments, and if I can answer anything, let me know. Thanks a lot, man. Practice and enjoy.